With this app, you get bubble clouds both on your phone and tablet's home screens and on the screen of your Android Wear smartwatch. You can use it on either or on both. Bubble clouds are amorphous groups of colorful circles. They give you access to your apps, contacts, or websites. The trick is that bubbles grow with use. The more frequently used bubbles stand out from the crowd. I'm going to first talk about the home screen widget, which can be used on your handheld devices. If you're here for the Bubble Cloud Launcher on Android Wear, please jump ahead in the video. Select to add a widget in your home screen app. You have three choices. Let's start with App Bubbles. Place the widget on a blank page. Resize it to fill available space. Tap to add bubbles. Name the cloud. Add items. Filter list to only games. Add a few by tapping on each. Or all at once by pressing the plus 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 button. Mark auto populate so when you install a new game it will automatically appear in this cloud. Press check mark when you're done. To modify the contents, tap the pencil icon. Tap bubbles twice to remove or tap the plus sign to add more, or adjust the settings. For example, set the background color to full transparent. In the premium version of the app, you can have as many clouds as you want. Start the app Bubble Cloud Settings to tweak your cloud. Here you can change bubble spacing, freeze sizes so bubbles stop growing, or hide the pencil. Clouds look nicer without the pencil and you can still modify them by double tapping their empty areas. Contact clouds work very similarly. Here you have the option to filter by contact groups or by your recent calls. Auto population works with these two. You can have a cloud which always shows the people recently contacted. You can also choose what should happen when you tap a contact in the cloud. Form separate clouds for email contacts, tax contacts, or it lets you choose every time. When you delete a widget, its contents are not necessarily erased. You get the option to save your bubbles for later as orphans, or you can merge them into another cloud. This is how you can create mixed clouds of people, apps, and even bookmarks. Bookmark clouds work a little bit differently. You add bubbles from any web browser. First navigate to the web page, then choose the share page, pick add to bubble cloud, adjust page to create a snapshot for thumbnail, select if you want to show the site icon for smaller bubbles. Tap the plus sign to add to your cloud. Bubble Cloud widgets offer a unique but very practical way to access your information. With Bubble Cloud Launcher, these clouds become available on your smartwatch too. You can use it as a very practical watch face. Beyond the clock bubble and various other information bubbles, you can place a few of your most often used app bubbles on the watch face. And you can swipe to access all your other apps or use it together with any other watch face in the usual app drawer arrangement which can be pulled in from either side of the screen. If used like this, your apps can still be separated into two different clouds. For more on the app drawer, please jump ahead in the video. There is also a contact bubble cloud on the watch, which you can use to dial or email text a selection of your contacts. To learn more about the Wear Contact Cloud, please jump ahead in the video. Let's start with the Watch Face Launcher. Select Bubble Cloud from the list of available watch faces. The watch face shows the time, the date, battery levels for both watch and your phone, the Wi-Fi and ring mode status of your phone. It also has a few app bubbles which you can tap to start apps. Swipe the watch face sideways to access all your other apps. 
we call the first cloud the favorites, while these the archive. You can move bubbles between the two clouds by long tapping on them. If you don't touch the screen for a while, it slides back to the favorites and dims. To access the launcher, you just need to get back to the home screen in any of the usual ways. Exit the running app by swiping it to the right, put your palm over the screen, press the side button, or simply wait for the watch face to appear. After all, it is your launcher. There are a few typical functions of Android Wear which can normally be accessed from watch faces. You can say, OK Google, and it will switch to the voice search as expected. Incoming notifications peek in at the bottom of the screen and you can swipe them up, down or to the sides as normal. Just be careful to react with them at the bottom half of the screen. To access the menu, you will have to tap twice on the clock bubble. For the pull down options, you will have to tap once on the clock bubble. The color of the clock changes, then you can swipe down or swipe up for hidden notification cards. Just remember to tap the clock bubble before swiping up or down. Most smartwatch displays use OLED technology, which are more power efficient with fewer colors on the screen. Bubble Cloud Watch Face Launcher gives you the option of displaying the bubble cloud using hollow circles when the ambient screen is showing. For this and many other options, please start Bubble Cloud settings, either on your phone or on the watch. Alternatively, you can tap the settings screenshot in the phone app or say OK Google Open Bubble Cloud on the watch. Other settings include Reduce sensitivity. If you find yourself accidentally starting applications, you can reduce the touch sensitivity of the Bubble Cloud watch face. Animation. Disable the app opening animation. It doesn't affect how quickly an app opens. The animation goes on only until the app is fully loaded. Then it immediately fades into the opened app. But you might still want to disable it for battery saving or if it appears choppy on underpowered devices. Freeze sizes. If you like the way your bubbles are laid out, you might want to stop them from growing and shrinking with use. Bubble Cloud Launcher is tuned to only grow bubbles after two or three uses while still keeping account of their use frequency. Clock bubble. Choose between digital or analog. Finally, the three buttons give you bulk actions on the two clouds, such as resetting bubble sizes, moving all less used bubbles to the archive, and quickly swap the two clouds. The rest of the settings mainly affect the app drawer mode, which works together with any watch face you might like to use. Choose which side of the app drawer could be pulled in from. Adjust the size of the handle. The bigger the handle, the easier it is to access the app drawer, but the more prone it is to interfere with other applications. The watch Face Launcher eliminates this problem, of course. In Bubble Cloud Launcher, you can also double tap on the edge of the screen to engage the drawer. When used as an app drawer launcher, you might want to remove the live information bubbles. In addition, the Bubble Cloud Settings app on your phone gives you a few more settings. You get fine control over which of the live info and toggle bubbles show up on the watch. Personalize the clouds with different background colors. Or enable sticky open mode. Normally, when you don't use an Android Wear application for a few seconds, the screen switches back to the watch face. You can prevent this by double tapping on app bubbles when you open them and they will open in a special pinned or stickied mode. The screen will still dim and return to the watch face after a few seconds to save battery power and give you access to the information there. But as soon as the screen brightens up again, you are automatically taken back to the sticky app. The most important function of the watch is to show you the time. So the time is constantly displayed at the top of the screen while you're in sticky mode. 
To exit sticky mode, long tap on the lock and time on the top of the screen or return to the watch face and start another application by single tapping or double tapping if you choose. Finally, in the settings app on the phone, you will see the card Wear Contact Cloud. Press the yellow bubble. Press Select Contacts. Add bubbles the usual way, either by tapping on one by one or by filtering by group or recent calls and then add them all at once. Enable auto population to have recently contacted people show up automatically in the contact cloud on your watch. Press the check mark. Wait a little for the information to transfer or press the yellow bubble and resync contacts if needed. On the watch, use the same icon to access your contacts. This bubble doesn't show up until you add at least one contact as described before. Tap a contact to see the available means of communications. For the email to work, you will need to authenticate Bubble Cloud Launcher with your Google account. This can be done without giving out your password. You can also set a default means of communication for each contact by long tapping on the desired bubble. You will still be able to come to this selection screen by long tapping on the contact, but a single tap will initiate the default action. This is the current stage of Bubble Cloud widgets and launcher. If there is interest, you can expect many more new features in the future.